these lenses, I can turn the inside of this mountain into hot, molten rock. No one, not even Captain Marvel, can survive that. Shazam! What's that, Mr. Howell? I don't know, Billy. Let's find out. What do you make of that symbol, Malcolm? I don't know, Howell. Does it mean anything to you, Tal Shatali? The men of the hills are gathering. The symbol says that the white men are to be driven from the Valley of Tombs. Lieutenant! 
Close the stockade gates. Man the machine guns. Yes, sir. Close those gates. Take your places. Man the guns. What causes this attack? The legend one. No white man shall desecrate the Valley of Tombs. That is not the true legend. When there is desecration, Scorpio will erupt. See for yourself, there is no eruption. You have spilled blood without reason. Return to your people and counsel them to await a sign from Scorpio. It shall be as you say, Tuan. The true ledger must not be violated. But the white men must leave. There is a curse which says that any white man that enters the Valley of Tom shall die. He's coming back. It looks as if Tal Chitali was successful. I hope so. Is the attack over? Who are they? What do they want? We will not be attacked again if we stop our work in the tombs and depart. But our visas and permits are in order. The chief warns that no permit will protect us from the curse of the scorpion if we enter the inner tomb. The only reason I financed this expedition was to examine the contents of that tomb. Surely you're not going to be stopped by a native curse. It's superstitious nonsense. That's what everybody said about the curse of King Tut's tomb. But a lot of them died. We'll handle this, Billy. We'll open the tomb at once. We we'll strike camp in the morning and be well on our way before there is any further danger from the natives. That suits you, Tal Chitali? I wish our danger came only from the natives. You don't take this curse of the scorpion seriously. Believe me, gentlemen, there is a curse of the scorpion. Nonsense. We'll be seeing ghosts next. Let's get to work. Will you and Carlisle get these specimens back to camp? We'll be glad to. There's an inscription here. Can you translate it, Tal Chotali? Yes, I can translate it. It says, let what reposes behind this stone remain hidden from the eyes of mankind for all time. Why, the secret of the Scorpion dynasty must lie beyond this wall. Perhaps it would be wise not to learn what that secret is. That's ridiculous. Well, I think Mr. Talchitali is right. I feel as though I were robbing a grave right now. You afraid, Billy? Well, no, sir. I just don't want to pry into anybody's secrets. I'll go into these passes to remove that pottery for you, but I don't want any part of this. Very well. Billy Batson is the wisest one among us. I think I shall follow his example, if I may be excused. Just as you like. Look, the 
scorpion. Why, it's not a tomb at all. What on earth is it? Well, that's hard to say. Why, are these are lenses of a sort. They're probably a fused quartz of some kind. Well, if this is the dreaded secret of the Scorpion dynasty, it seems to be quite harmless now. Sunlight seems to have something to do with it. Why? These lenses are adjustable. Here, bring them all into focus. My name is... All is known to me. Your name is Billy Batson. You did not pry into the secret of the Scorpion. That is why I am here. But where did you come from? Out of the past, my son. Down through the ages to guard the secret of the Scorpion. You've been alive all these years? What you call life Return to me when your friends violated the tomb of the scorpion. Well, they meant no harm. Then they should have obeyed the inscription on the tomb. The harm has been done. It is your duty to see that the curse of the scorpion is not visited upon innocent people. My duty? Yes. So long as the golden scorpion may fall into the hands of selfish men, it is the duty of Captain Marvel to protect the innocent from its evil use. But who is Captain Marvel? You are my son. All that is necessary is to repeat my name, Shazam. By its repetition, you will become Captain Marvel and take on the virtues you see recorded there. The wisdom of Solomon. The strength of Hercules, the stamina of Atlas, the power of Zeus, the great courage of Achilles, and the speed of Mercury. You must never call upon this power except in the service of right. To do so would bring the scorpion's curse upon your own head. And now, my son, repeat my name and return to the rescue of your friends. Shazam! You all right? Uh, yes. It was a concussion from the explosion. What caused it? Why, that device there. Quick, 
Call the others. We've got to get Lang and Fisher up to camp. You bring the scorpion. Take care of this scroll, Bentley. It is set forth here that a certain arrangement of the lenses will transmute any substance placed in front of the base lens to pure gold. That's impossible. Sounds like rubbish to me. Well, we can soon find out. Show us how to arrange the lenses. Uh, Billy, bring me uh, several stones. Uh, place them on the ground. Step back, please. Why, it is gold. The purest I've ever seen. Only the sun's rays is needed to create it. If we only knew the formula for making those lenses. What difference does that make? We've got these. Gentlemen, do you realize that this golden scorpion makes us the richest and most powerful group in the world? Too rich and too powerful. Are you suggesting that we destroy the scorpion? Think of its scientific value. I am thinking of that. What do you propose? That the lenses be distributed among us. That another take the scorpion itself. And in that way, the device could never be used without the consent of all. But what about the scroll? The scorpion is useless without it. I suggest that Billy Batson be entrusted with the scroll. Oh, but he's so young, how? And this is of such vast importance. Nevertheless, Billy is probably the only one among us who can't translate it. Oh, but Mr. Howell, I would... I think Mr. Howell's plan is excellent. Dr. Charlie, will you disassemble the lenses, please? <clears throat> Professor Fisher? Mr. Carlyle? Professor Bentley? Lang. Mr. Malcolm. And Billy, this is for you to guard. See that you guard it well. It contains a precious and a dangerous secret. Don't worry, Talcha Tally. I'll guard it. Well said, young fellow. I'm sure you will. See that your personal belongings are packed tonight. We start to load at 4 o'clock in the morning and start for the base camp at daylight. Signal. Thank you, sir. There's evil in the air tonight. Yes, sir. You know, I feel the same way. seem restless tonight. And for good reason.
Good night, Mr. Howe. One who invites the curse of the Golden Scorpion does well to protect himself. Good night. Good night. about you, spewed up by Scorpio, the guardian of the Valley of Tombs. If the hands of alien whites desecrate our holy places, Scorpio will give the sign to war. Sentry's been knifed, sir. Rout out your men. Search the camp. Yes, sir. Where is Howell? In our tent. Radio the British troops at Fort Multan. Tell them we need immediate aid. Yes, sir. MAE on 624, calling Fort Multan. Malcolm Archaeological Expedition on 624, calling Fort Multan. Fort Moulton, come in, M.E. We need immediate aid. We were attacked by natives this afternoon, and two of our men have been killed here tonight. Stand by, M.E. Yes, Sergeant? Trouble with that Malcolm expedition in the Valley of Tombs, sir. They're standing by. Ask their exact position and tell them I'll send a troop immediately. Orderly! Must have your exact location. are well on their way. Thank you, Billy. One of my men reports movement in the rock, sir. Tell them to keep a sharp lookout, Lieutenant. believe that the volcano has anything to do with the scorpion? That's the legend. 
The natives were regarded as a sign of war. I don't believe there's a native within 10 miles of here. Kale and ambush them. the gorge. Send men ahead of them and dynamite the bridge. You'll have to hurry.
Why, it's Billy and Betty with Whitey. Well, how on earth did you three ever... I'll tell you about that later, Mr. Malcolm. We better get away from here. Yes, we'll head for Port Moulton. You can rest there, Betty. I don't want to rest until I get back to the United States. And boy, when we get there, well, I have a story to broadcast. expedition reached the ship without further difficulty. All the scientists are enthusiastic over their discoveries, and they're very thankful to be back in this country again, out of reach of the Scorpion. The discovery he's referring to concerns the five lenses that fit into the golden Scorpion you see before you. With the lenses in place, the sun's rays can be utilized to change inert material into powerful explosives and to turn base metals into gold. Whoever controls this device will have power such as men have dreamed of since the beginning of time. And it's my job to get the lenses. All right, tell me who's got them and I'll get to work. It won't be so easy, Barnett. The lenses were divided among the scientists who have hidden them carefully. But you're one of these men. That's going to help us. Naturally. We're holding a meeting at Malcolm's home today. I want you to see that Henry Carlyle does not arrive at that meeting. His lens is the first point of attack. Mr. Malcolm, Mr. Carlyle has been delayed. He expects to be here in about 10 minutes. Uh, thank you, Betty. Keep driving straight ahead. Scorpion wants your lens. You don't think I'd ever let him get it, do you? Yes, I think you will. Those electric eyes are throwing a beam which will knock out anyone who gets between them. And at the same time, 
Wait, I'll show you. Now, unless you change your mind, we'll give you a personal demonstration. All right, all right, I'll tell you. It's in a safe at my home. I don't remember the combination, but Miss Wallace has it written down. I'll phone her and... No, you'll write her a note. All right. And unless you follow these instructions, the Scorpion's men will carry out their threat against me. This note is signed by Henry Carlyle. The Scorpion? In this country. Then we're all in danger. We should call the police. By all means. This is an emergency. Carlyle's life is in danger. But do you know where Carlyle's lens is, Miss Wallace? Yes. But I promise never to tell anyone. You needn't tell anyone, Betty. The question is, should you get the lens and deliver it as the note instructs you to? Or should we turn this matter over to the authorities? What do you think, Lang? I say send the lens and save Carlisle. Fisher? Send Miss Wallace with the lens. Bentley? It's the only way. Tell Shetali? Send the lens. Very well. You have until midnight to get the lens and deliver it. The note said you must go to the Elm Street Bridge alone. Are you willing to do that? For Mr. Carlyle, yes. If you'll all keep in touch with me by telephone, I'll let you know as soon as Betty reports. Betty. I have an idea. Now, you won't need to take any chances, because I'll see that everything goes all right. Okay, it's clear. You're set, Whitey? Sure, let's go. We'll follow him when he leaves. Get your hands up, both of you. All right, go ahead. What's this? They were watching you, Cowan. Search them.
keep away from me, or I'll let your pal here have it. Try to trap us, but I got away with the lens. This box is empty. We'll have another talk with Mr. Carlisle. Come on. So, thought you'd trick us, eh? Oh, I know. I wrote the note asking Betty to get the lens for you. Well, she didn't get it. You better figure out a better way to persuade her. I don't know what else I can do. No? Well, think and think fast. We'll help you. If you can't figure out some way to get that lens, you'll go under the knife. And we'll go after the girl ourselves. Well, I can't. I don't know what more I can do. Throw him in. Oh, Billy, where have you been? Oh, I got tied up on a special broadcast. Did anything of importance come up? Sort of. I'm going to get Mr. Carlisle's lens from his Oak Mountain Lodge. It's in his safe. He gave me the combination. Are you going alone? Yes. Why should you go? Well, Mr. Malcolm and the others think the Scorpion is watching their movements, but feel he'd never suspect me. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. He seems to know every move that's made around here. But I've already said I would go. You better take my car. Why? Well, it has a two-way radio on it. If anything goes wrong, you can talk directly to my office. Now, keep it tuned into that wavelength. All right, Billy, if it'll make you feel better. You may as well come in, Tal Shetali. Is Mr. Malcolm still here? No, he left about an hour ago. Uh, thank you. I'll stop by this evening. Oh, just a minute. Why don't you try his club? You might find him there. Hello, Whitey. 
Betty's leaving Malcolm's in my car. I want you to follow her. Well, I'd be glad to, Billy. I'll be tied up here for a few minutes, though. Well, in that case, pick her up at Elm and Forth. I'll stall her for a while. Okay, I won't let her get out of my sight. Okay, Whitey. think they can keep me from getting Carlisle's lens. But they do not realize the power of the scorpion. Carlisle's lens shall soon rest here. The others will follow in turn. The dynasty of the scorpion will live again. And I shall rule mightier than the ancient Shagatal. Where is this lens? And how do you plan to get it? The lens is in a safe at Oak Mountain Lodge. Malcolm's secretary has the combination and we'll be leaving soon to get it. This is what you must do at once. Drive up into that truck. Looks like your boyfriend lost track of you. All right, hand over that combination. I don't know what you mean. Never mind the chatter. I want the combination of Carlisle's safe. Give me that bag. This is it. What are you going to do with me? Just sit tight. You'll know soon enough. I got the combination, Martin. Head into Cliffwood Road. I can't get away with this. The police will soon know what the Acme Storage Company are using their trucks for. The Food Road. Acme Storage Company. Shazam! I don't think the police will hear about this. That'll keep you from getting into any trouble.
tie down the wheel. We're leaving. Shazam! Betty! Betty! Alice, how did you get here? Well, never mind that. We got more important things to worry about. Those men, they got the combination to Carl all safe. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, but I can get to the lodge ahead of them in my plane. Let me go with you. Oh, after what you've been through, you need a rest. I'll drop you off at Malcolm's on my way to the airport. I'll go get the car. Billy's on his way to the airport now. Gentlemen, you have heard my secretary's story. It's startling proof that we are menaced by a master criminal. Well, that's true, but as long as Batson gets there ahead of them, we have nothing to worry about. Surely, with Carlisle's lens in our hands, a scorpion is helpless. I wouldn't be too sure, gentlemen. Did you say Billy was taking his own plane? Yes. Why? Mm, nothing. Mere curiosity. Well, since we can't do anything till Billy returns, there's no use waiting any longer. I agree. Uh, gentlemen, good night. Good night, Miss Waters. Good night. Good night. Good night. That'll be all for you tonight, Bertie. Good night, Mr. Malcolm. Good night. speaking. Listen carefully. Batson is on his way to get his plane. You know about that atmospheric exploder. Yes, I've got it right here. Well, here's what I want you to do with it. Put it in his plane and set it for 8 o'clock with a one-minute fuse.
calling, please. Scorpion has set a bomb with a one-minute fuse to start burning at 8 o'clock. You must warn him. Yeah, sure, Betty. Right away. I'll get right on it. Four BL calling 2RM. Four BL calling 2RM. Please come in, Billy Batson. BL calling 2RM, calling 2RM. Please come in, Billy Batson. This is 4BL calling 2RM, calling 2RM. Please come in, Billy Batson. Why doesn't that guy answer? Come in, Billy Batson. Please come in. This is 4PL calling 2RM. Please come in, Billy Batson. There's a bomb wired to explode in your plane at one minute past eight. Bail out! Shazam! just as you had planned. I need three more lenses to complete the solar atom smasher. When that is accomplished, I'll be able to create unlimited wealth and have a weapon which will make me invulnerable. Getting the remaining lenses should be easy now that Billy Batson's out of the way. But Batson isn't dead. But he was in that plane? How could he have escaped? I don't know. But I overheard Betty talk to him this morning. He said he was rescued by Captain Marvel. We must attend to him at once. And this time, not even Captain Marvel can save him. I don't know how. I can arrange it. There is to be a meeting at Malcolm's house today, and Batson will be there. Since I have the confidence of the others, it will be simple for me to have Batson sent to any place that we may... Good afternoon, gentlemen. Hello, Billy. Hello, Billy. Hello, Betty. I thought you were going to prevent the Scorpion from getting Carlisle's lens. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Fisher. I tried to. Billy did all he could, Mr. Fisher. And you might remember that his efforts are also for your benefit. My benefit? Please, let's not lose our tempers. Yes, gentlemen, we mustn't get rattled. Howell and Carlisle are both dead. And each of us can look forward to the same violent end as long as the Scorpion remains unknown and at large. You're quite right. But the problem still remains. What are we going to do? Destroy the remaining lenses. And deprive the world of the most revolutionary device in history? I can never agree to that. I'm sorry to be so late, but I believe I've made an important discovery. The sign of the scorpion. Where did you get it? At Carlisle's. I was going through his study in the hope of finding a clue and found this on the floor. What do you make of it, Lang? I know only one man in this country who might have such a collection. He's Chan Lau, the Oriental Curio dealer. It's 
Chan Lao has such a collection, the Scorpion must have got this from him. But suppose this Chan Lao is working for the Scorpion. In that case, if one of us goes to a shop to investigate, we'll only put him on his guard. Billy could go. No one would suspect him. Well, that's fine with me. I'll go right now. I wanted to go downtown, Mr. Malcolm, if you don't need me anymore. No, oh, certainly, Betty. Run along. Where are you headed for, Betty? I got the license number of that truck the Scorpion's men were in yesterday. And I want to go down to the motor vehicle department to find out who the owner is. Good. You get all the dope you can on it, and we'll talk it over when I get back from Chance. I wonder if that was deliberate. Wait here. Him. Me too. But we'll have to wait till we get to the bottom of these clues. startled me. A thousand a pardon. What can I do for you? Do you recognize this? Why, certainly. Where did you get it? I uh, found it. Who'd you sell it to? Sell it? Never. My collection is intact. This must be an imitation. Are you sure? Well, to end all doubts, suppose we go down to the vault, check through the collection. All right. Phone Barnett. Give me security guarded. You rented a truck recently. License number 6W721. Yes? Can you tell me who rented it? That's what I'd like to know. The truck hasn't come back yet. And the driver gave me a phony name. Oh, I see. Well, thank you very much.
you make out, Cowan? Swell. They got that Batson kid for sure this time. He's locked up in Chanwell's vault. What are they gonna do with him? Barnett's going down there to take care of him. I'll see if he's there now. Someone's on the extension. Yes. Take her upstairs. I'll get a hold of the scorpion and see what he wants to do with her. Hello, Chan. Where's Batson? Step in the vault. Take care of her there. Yeah, make it look like an accident. My men just captured the Wallace girl. Looks like a lucky day for the Scorpion. The day isn't over yet. Street garage near Fourth Avenue. Keep an eye on her. Well, what do you do with her? Barnett says we've got to get rid of her and make it look like an accident. Well, I've got some paint remover. Give her a whip of that, load her in the car, and turn her loose down the ramp. That'll do it.
Scorpion's men. They're up there on the top floor. It's Captain Marvel. That won't do any good. We've got to get out of here. This will fix Captain Marvel. Untie it. Who is a scorpion? Talk or I'll... I'll talk. I'll tell you anything. Well, let me loose. Well? He isn't here. Who is a scorpion? I don't know. I've never seen him. You take your orders from him, don't you? Don't you? Yes, but I... He always wears a mask. You've heard him talk? Yes. You could recognize his voice, couldn't you? I think so. All right, I can use you. Come on. I'm sorry about interrupting the meeting, Mr. Malcolm, but I have something very important to say to you. Every time we have a meeting, the Scorpion and his men know all our plans. It does seem that way. It is that way. The last time we met, Tal Chitali showed us a miniature, which he said he found. Dr. Lang said it might have come from the shop of Chan Lao in Chinatown. The Chan Lao shop, I was attacked by the Scorpion's men, and I wouldn't be here right now if Captain Marvel hadn't rescued me. Your law, this is very disturbing, but do you think you should discuss it in the presence of an outsider? This man happens to be one of the Scorpion's men. One of you gentlemen should know him. Do you mean to imply that the Scorpion is here? Yes, right here in this room. This man's only seen the scorpion masked, but he knows his voice and he can identify it. Young man, are you serious? This is outrageous. Oh, it's utterly ridiculous. All right, Owens, you've heard them all speak now. Is one of them the scorpion? I don't know. But you said you could recognize the Scorpion's voice. Don't any of them sound like him? I can't. I thought I could, but I can't. You 
You've only succeeded in insulting us all, Billy. And making a fool of yourself. I quite agree with you. You're right, Fisher. It's all a clumsy bluff. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Malcolm. I really thought... Don't let it bother you, Billy. Only don't be so impulsive next time. I'll see that the whole thing is smoothed over before the next meeting. Thanks, Mr. Malcolm. Go on, you. What are you going to do with this man? Since he won't tell us who the scorpion is, there's only one thing left to do. I'm going to notify the police. Wait a minute. Don't call the cops. I'll tell you where I saw the scorpion. All right, I'm listening. He has a hideout in the old Harrison mine. Where is this mine? Can we get there today? Sure. It's back in the hills. I'll tell you where it is. Tell me where it is. You're going to show me where it is. I'll call you whenever I get some information. Captain Marvel. He seems to appear every time Batson's in trouble. Don't worry, Barnett. I also have plans for our friend, Captain Marvel. With the power of these lenses, I can turn the inside of this mountain into molten rock. No one, not even Captain Marvel, can survive that. Here's how my plan will be carried out. it over there. Keep walking, Owen, so don't make any breaks. Shazam! So you're the Scorpion. You expected to find me here, didn't you? Yes, but I don't believe you expected me. On the contrary, I'm prepared to receive you properly. I've waited a long time for this opportunity, and I'm going to find out who you are right now. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you won't learn my identity now or ever. Your 
fairly trapped, my friend. There are several hundred feet of solid rock all around you. And if you try to escape, you'll find not solid rock, but molten rock. Focus the beam directly into the mouth of the tunnel. That's the end of Captain Marvel. Now that Captain Marvel is out of our way, we should have no difficulty in getting the rest of the lenses. It'd be a cinch if we only knew where they were. I expect to find that out very soon. Furthermore, after the meeting this afternoon, no one will ever suspect that I was one of the Malcolm Expedition when the lenses were found in the tomb of the Scorpion. from the Scorpion. Operator, can you trace that call? The person speaking for the Scorpion hung up. It couldn't be traced. What was the message? He said to tune in on shortwave band 16 at 4 o'clock. Well, it's almost that now. See if you can get that band, Whitey. the Scorpion, speaking to the members of the Malcolm Scientific Expedition. I am now reporting that I have obtained all the lenses I seek but one. Our lenses? Why, he must have robbed... Therefore, I am warning all the members of that group to try in no way to recover the lenses or to interfere with me in obtaining the last one. It will mean death. I can hardly believe it. 
The scorpion must have stolen all those lenses from where they were hidden. Apparently, mine was the only lens he wasn't able to get his hands on. I suggest we each examine the places where we hid our lenses and search for clues. A good idea. Let's start at once. I sure wish Billy would show up. So do I. Boy, am I glad you got here. Where are Mr. Malcolm and the others? I thought there was a meeting scheduled today. Well, there was. But we had a radio message from the Scorpion saying that he had all the lenses but one. And Mr. Fisher and Mr. Bentley rushed away to see if the Scorpion left any clues. I don't understand it. I'm sure the Scorpion is one of this group. That must be a trick of some kind. Yeah, but I don't see why he would. I get it. The Scorpion sent that message so the men would rush right to the place their lenses were hidden. You mean the lenses might not have been stolen? Exactly. That was a trick to make them reveal the hiding places. Now, Whitey, we've got to get moving. I'm heading for Bentley's, and you drive over to Warren Fisher. I'll meet you there later. So okay. long, Betty. Good afternoon, Mr. Bentley. Good afternoon. must be here. Mr. Bentley! Mr. Bentley!
they got Mr. Bentley's lens. Mr. Bentley. He, he went out. He didn't say where he was going. I know he trusts you. See that he gets his lens when he returns. I've got to get to Mr. Fisher's. Yes, sir. on these premises. It's obvious. This is the place you rushed for when you heard I had the lenses. You wish to see if I left any clues. is killed, it's going to be you. Drop that gun!
Me. Say, how did you... Fisher is dead, and the lens is gone. It was a scorpion. That's the second lens he's stolen. What are we going to do to stop him? Nothing right now. You must tell Malcolm and the others to take some drastic action to protect the rest of the lenses. Come on. Okay. And when Captain Marvel got there, Fisher was dead. And we certainly need Captain Marvel's help more than ever now. Oddly enough, he always seems to know when and where the scorpion will strike next. That's how he saved my lens. Where did he get his information? How did you know that Fisher was in danger? Why, well, Billy told me. Batson, how did he know? Why, when he heard about the message that the scorpion broadcast to your meeting, he... How did he learn that? Well, well, I guess Betty must have told him. Our meetings must be held in strict confidence. Our lives depend upon it. And Miss Wallace should be made to understand this. You're right, Tashitali. I shall warn Betty not to repeat a thing she hears at these meetings. We'd have had Bentley's lens, too, if it hadn't been for Captain Marvel. I believe I found a way to take care of him. At the meeting today, I learned that Betty Wallace has been talking too much. It was her information that brought Captain Marvel to Fisher's. We can use her to lure him into a trap. What kind of a trap would ever hold him? I have in mind a destructive force that no living being could withstand. Phone Miss Wallace and tell her that... Certainly. I'll bring them right down. The broadcasting studio wants Billy's notes for his next program. I thought Billy was going to pick them up himself. He must have changed his plans. You want me to go with you? No, Mr. Malcolm wants you to stay here. Now I gotta play nursemaid to a telephone all afternoon. Scorpion lady. Get in. Oh! <laughs> Hi, Whitey. Where's Betty? Well, the studio phone and asked her to bring your notes. Didn't you know about it? No, I just came over to get them myself. Well, say, you don't suppose that was a phony message, do you? I don't know, but I'm gonna follow her. You stay here, I'll call you later. Smart trick. 
Come on, we'll have to find those keys. You come along too and help. Where's Miss Wallace? I... I don't know. I said, where's Miss Wallace? She... she ran into the woods that way. along the edge of the lake. I'll try down here. You'll be safe enough now. I'm sure I will, thanks to you. But how did you happen to get here at such an opportune time? Uh, Billy Batson thought you might have been led into a trap. Billy Batson? Does he know how to get in touch with you? Yes. I keep my radio receiver tuned to a 16 wavelength. A broadcast on that wave will always reach me. Thanks. I feel much safer now. Shazam! Move over, sister.
Walter are driving now. And Billy Batson also knows the wavelength that will contact Captain Marvel. Hmm. Very interesting. Now, you'll have to get Batson and take him along with the girl to the shack on the bombing range. Right. Do we come back here and call Captain Marvel? No, he might be suspicious unless the girl calls. Install a broadcasting set in the shack. She can operate it. But suppose she doesn't call him. I think she will. Bring her in. No need to be frightened, Miss Wallace. Yet, that is, if I have your cooperation, I... You'll never have my help. Perhaps you'd better listen first. You can save yourself and your friend Batson a lot of trouble. Are you hit? Nothing. With this action, you'll forfeit your life. Go ahead with our plans. Pick Batson up at his office and get both of them out to the shack at once. Right. Move on. Here he comes. Scorpion. The plane has taken off and will drop the demolition bombs on the shack in a few minutes. Leave the shack immediately. Come on, that plane will be over in no time. Captain Marvel. Calling Captain Marvel. It's Betty Wallace speaking. Billy and I are tied up in a shack on the bombing range. Please help us. All right.
Well, I got loose just in time. This is dangerous business, Betty. For your own good, you better give up your job. I can't quit now, Billy. I've got a real clue to the scorpion. How's that? When they took me to the scorpion, I shot at him. And I injured his hand, the right one. Well, if the scorpion's one of the scientists, we'll spot him at the meeting tomorrow. Well, come on, we got a lot of hiking to do. And Captain Marvel got the girl out. I'll remove Captain Marvel in due time. Yeah, but how? When I complete this Adam Smasher, I'll have a weapon that not even he can withstand. But I must have those other lenses. And Billy Batson continually interferes. We meet today, and Batson will be there. I count on you to take care of him. I've got one trick that never misses. But how about your hand? Won't that give you away? Don't worry, Barnett. I've taken care of that. I ought to do the trick. I hope so. Good morning, gentlemen. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Here's a statement from the museum that guarantees the authenticity of the specimens we brought back from Siam. They want each of us to sign it. The usual formality. You wanted the telephone. Oh, thank you. Pardon me? Nice timing, Betty. Well, who is it? It's Dr. Lang. Dr. Lang? That's hard to believe. What are you going to do now? Search his house. If he is the scorpion, then the golden scorpion and the lenses ought to be there. But Dr. Lang keeps a guard on the gate day and night. Is that Lang's hat and coat? Yes, why? If I wear these and take his car, I'll bet I can get by those guards. Dr. Lang, he won't leave, sir. Tell him I had to take his car and keep him here as long as you can. How do you want it set? So she'll blow when the speedometer hits 50. Oh, Dr. Lang, are you leaving so soon? Oh, yes, I, I have some very important work to attend to. I'm terribly sorry, but your car isn't here. Billy had to borrow it. What do you mean? Well, Whitey was supposed to pick him up, but he didn't get here in time. Uh, yeah, I kind of got tied up, but I'll be glad to take you any place you want to go, Dr. Lang. Never mind. Uh, I'll call a cab. No, it's no trouble at all. All right, then. But I must get to my home immediately. It's a pleasure. Very well, come on. You ready? All set. Let's get out of here.
Hello, Dr. Lang. Hello. Why, it's Billy Batson. We've got to stop him. I'm in a hurry. I don't like to drive over 50 miles an hour, Dr. Lang. Then let me drive. I'll step it up a bit. Batson. Yes, Dr. Lang. When I saw your wounded hand, I knew you were the scorpion. Well, what do you mean? The scorpion was wounded in the hand yesterday. Since you're the only suspect with a bandaged hand, I knew... Well, I can explain that. Perhaps you can also explain why the scorpion's men attacked me when I came in here. Of course I can, but it's not safe out here, Billy. Let's go into the house. I'd be glad to. I'd planned on searching your house anyway. I have no objections. Come on. Won't you make yourselves comfortable, gentlemen? That's and it's uh, rather cold in here. You turn on the furnace and uh, give us plenty of heat. Yes, sir.
I can believe the story of your injury, Dr. Lyne. <coughs> but how do you explain the Scorpion's men being here? They're after me. The Scorpion wants my lens. Perhaps, but... Gee, I'm getting so sleepy, I... I can't... I must leave at once. The Scorpion's men may be here at any moment. These chaps wouldn't allow me to leave, so I, I had to gas him. I understand, sir. What do you wish to do with them? I imagine Whitey will be all right. But if the Scorpion's men find Billy, they'll kill him. So I have to take him to a safer place. Come, Benson, help me to get him into the car. We've got to catch him. been an accident. So I see. Are you hurt? No, but my, my companion, he's unconscious. I'll be glad to take him along, too. Our orders were to get Lang, but the Scorpion will be glad to get Batson, too. Take me to. We know where to take you. Get in. What, 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 what do you mean? I said get in.
Dr. Lang, the Scorpion. It's a pleasure to see you here. Please be seated. Billy Batson was with him, so I brought him along. Splendid. Where's Batson? Downstairs under guard. He's unconscious. I'll attend to him when I finish with Dr. Lang. What do you want of me? Your lens to help complete the Golden Scorpion Atom Smasher. Something I, I'll never give you. I think I can change your mind. A barnet. Prepare to loosen Dr. Lang's tongue. Behind the painting, there's, there's a safe. Write down the combination. Get the lens from Lang's safe at once. Yes, sir. Wait. Something should be done with Batson. You want me to take care of him? No, that's a pleasure I'm reserving for myself. I'll have him brought up. Oh, oh. What are you going to do with me? Nothing. Until I know your lens is where you say it is. Hasn't come to yet. We'll get some water and bring him out of it. Shazam! Yes. Now I learn who you really are. And that gun of yours isn't going to stop me. But I think it will. Dr. Lang will die if you come one step closer. Malcolm's secretary speaking. Who? Oh, Dr. Lang. Let me talk to Malcolm. Mr. Malcolm's out of town. The Scorpion's men are after my lens. Can I be of any assistance? The safe in your library? Yes, that's right. It's in the alcove behind a painting. The combination is R24.
Daddy, repeat that combination to me. And then back to R11. I'll start at once. Now, Betty, something I must warn you about. There's a death trap in there. You the scorpion? Save her. I'm going to my house. Why? Lens in my safe. It's a death trap. Save her. Gonna be busy inside. Understand? Sure. Lock up the gates and keep out of sight. Shazam! Here's the combination. But he talked about some danger, a matter of life or death, he said. I think I know what he meant. There was a man with a gun as you drove up. Really? Well, where is he? He's been well taken care of. Let's go get that lens. He said it was in the alcove, didn't he? Yes, behind the painting. Be 
read the combination to me. Right, 24. Left, 18. Right, 9. Left, 16. Right, 7. Left, 10. And here's the last number. Right, 11. his lens. Well, he never brought his lens back to the United States. He left it in the tomb. Then we'd better get this map to the Scorpion right away. Get the map and get out of here. I'll take care of the kid. Shazam! Where'd the other man go? I don't know. I didn't see anyone when I came to, but... Never mind him. They were the Scorpion's men, and they know where Dr. Lang's lens is hidden. We gotta get to Mr. Malcolm at once. I got the map, but the Scorpion knows where the lens is hidden. Gentlemen, I beg your pardon. I'm sorry. There is but one course open to us. We must get to the Valley of Tombs before the Scorpion. Betty! Yes, Mr. Malcolm? Find out when the first steamer leaves for Bangkok, then book passage for all of us. I assume that you all wish to see this thing through? I am honored. Naturally. You can count me in, sir. I'll get Whitey there, too. I'll take care of that immediately. Well, what's to be done with the map, Malcolm? Uh, suppose I take care of it. I thought you were afraid of the curse of the scorpion. We are agreed that the possession of this map will endanger a man's life so long as the scorpion lives. Therefore, I propose this. Each one of us, including Betty, shall have a portion of the map. In this way, I'm sure we shall all reach Siam alive. I've booked passage on the freighter Carfax. It sails for Bangkok at midnight. Splendid. I've divided the map as a precaution against the scorpion. This is your share. Guard it carefully. Yes, Mr. Malcolm. I shall expect you all at the Carfax Pier promptly at 11.30 tonight.
I leave for Bangkok on the freight of Colfax at midnight tonight. Carry your orders and ample funds for your needs until I return. Yes, sir. Sit down, Malcolm. The storm's enough to wreck anyone's nerves without you pacing like a caged beast. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm worried. About the storm? No, the scorpion. He may have gone by Clipper. And if he gets to the Valley of Tombs ahead of us, everything we have fought for will be lost. That's not likely. What did the captain say, Billy? We're way off our course. Somewhere near the Siamese coast. He thinks we'll be on the typhoon by morning. It's pretty bad out on deck. Get another lashing on that deck, cargo. Aye, aye, sir. Mr. Carlson. Yes, sir. Send another man along. Get along.
some rye. Work this haul line. I'm going to get some firewood. Shazam! has certainly gone down. Well, anyway, we got everybody off. Say, where's Betty? Well, I thought she was around here somewhere. Carson, I thought you got everybody off. I'm sure I had everybody accounted for, sir. I was the last man to leave the ship, and I didn't see anyone. She must still be in her cabin. She might have been knocked out when we struck. Quick, get me back to that ship. Swimming ashore. Come on. So you went to your cabin, Betty. Then what happened? I was looking for some important papers when someone struck me from behind. Have you any idea who it was? No. Well, why would anyone want to kill you? He must have been after my section of the map. He took my handbag. Was the map in the bag? No, it's in a waterproof envelope pinned inside my jacket. Oh, that was smart. Say, how do we get away from here? Kandapur, a native village, is just across the hills. You can reach there in a few hours. Good. Let's get started. I suggest we rest up for a couple of days and start for the Valley of Tombs day after tomorrow. I think that's a sensible idea. Suits me. Oh, Billy. Yes, sir? You and Whitey see what you can round up on the way of cars and equipment. Yes, sir. Come on, laughing boy. Some days you don't even pay to get up.
from our master, the Scorpion. White infidels plan to enter the sacred valley the day after tomorrow. He will give you the signal to attack. But our men are few. They will be reluctant to face the guns of these foreigners. There will be no danger. I shall prepare a trap which will wipe them out before they can fire a shot. We will contact you immediately upon our return to America. Yours truly. Well, Billy, what luck? A lot better than I expected. I found two cars and all the equipment we need. We can get started right away. But we hadn't planned to leave until tomorrow. Well, of course not. I don't see how we can go on such short notice. Are you sure the equipment is adequate and that the cars are in good order? Well, certainly. I checked everything. It's early yet, and there's no use wasting any more time here. I'd like to get started and get it over with. We can get there before dark, can't we? Why, uh, yes. I suppose we can. Sure we can, easily. Come on, let's go. Come on, cut it out, will you, Billy? <laughs> Set, Billy? Go ahead, Whitey. I'll be right behind you. Okay. Shazam! Why were you sending that signal? Come on, talk or please, I'll... Please, please. I'll talk. The signal was to let my people know that the Malcolm expedition has entered the pass. Are they going to attack them? No. They have blocked the road in the canyon. They will blow up the mountainside and bury them under a landslide. What? <laughs> White infidels are driving through the pass. They were not expected until tomorrow. No matter. We are ready for them. Finish laying the fuse. Was that the scorpion to give us a signal for the attack? So as message said, but he may not have the opportunity now. Our orders are clear. We must destroy the white men before they enter the valley. are in our hands. Let's try to push this thing out of the way. No, it's no use. We'll have to chop it up. Well, the reactor's in the car. Come on, let's get them.
Move that tree. Get in the car. The mountain's going to blow up. He saved our lives that time. Yes, but who planned that trap for us? Must have been the natives. Step on it, Whitey. We won't be safe until we're out of this pass. The infidels have reached the Valley of the Tombs. They will again dishonor our ancient gods. Let us ride down and attack them. They are well armed, and we are too few. We must think of a way to arouse all the tribes against them. Only the volcano would speak. Its eruption has always been a signal for our men to assemble. But the volcano is sleeping. We will wake it up by diverting the river into it as ancient warriors once did. Come. Join the pieces of our map and see where he hit the lens. Why, it looks like one of the slabs inside the tomb. Good. Let's go and get the lens. I'll not be a party to invasion of the sacred tomb. Nothing but disaster can come of it. I think I'll stay outside and keep an eye on the cars. That's a good idea, Billy. Whitey, get us some torches and bring us some tools. is black. Now the water will flow into the volcano craters. Scorpio is angry because unbelievers have entered the tomb. The volcano is erupting. The walls may fall down on us. Somebody give me a hand with this, quick. Here it is. Why, yes. See? Why, it's the same as mine. I'll take care of this. It's an earthquake. They'll be caught in the tomb. Wait. Come on, let's get out of here before this joint falls apart. Sacred to them. Its eruption would arouse them to kill all foreigners. Well, they're your people, Tal Shatali. You must be able to make them understand. I can try. 
Papa won't tell them anything. Stall them till I get the others away from here. I'll do my best. Shazam! That's the way out, but only for one of us. You? The scorpion? Yes. No one else shall ever know. No. No, please don't. No one will ever know. I won't tell. I won't tell. <laughs> Volcano has spoken. It orders death to every white infidel who has entered the sacred tomb of the Shagatau. <laughs> How do you know that this is the wish of the scorpion? All men of the tribes know that the volcano speaks for him. Perhaps. But it is also known that the volcano will erupt if water is turned into it. Is it not possible that some evildoer may have caused this eruption to serve his own ends? El Chitali has spoken with a voice of wisdom. We are not savages who kill without reason. We only act if it is the will of the scorpion. He surely will send us a further message if it is his desire. Until then, let us wait. You have not long to wait. I am your leader, and I come here to command. The white men must be destroyed. Wait! Wait! This man is not the scorpion. He's a false prophet hiding behind the sacred mask. I'll show you. Seize him. Chain them and guard them carefully. They shall soon know the power of the scorpion. The scorpion has triumphed, and all the white infidels shall be sacrificed to celebrate the victory. Even the mighty Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel? Is he still alive? Yes, but we need fear him no longer, for he is only Billy Batson. Batson? But how is that possible? Perhaps it's a powerful drug or some other device which Batson uses to transform himself to Captain Marvel. And if Batson is destroyed, Captain Marvel will cease to exist. True. But first, I must learn the secret of his transformation. You must capture him and the others and bring them here alive. But you must be extremely careful and prevent Batson from changing to Captain Marvel. It shall be done, Master. How are you feeling? I feel better, thanks. Good. Now, you got to get moving, because I don't know how much longer Tal Chitali can stall the natives. 
I'm going back in the tomb, look for Bentley and Malcolm, and I'll join you as soon as I find them. But, Billy, you can... Now, listen, go ahead, Whitey, there's no time to argue. that. The symbol of your ancient faith is finally restored. These are the last of the lenses. <laughs> Thus is the power of the Scorpion renewed to destroy all its enemies and traitors. You have seen the ability of this machine to smash atoms and transmute metals. You will now see what it does to a human body. Jadpur, Shala. You see, it is a very efficient method of execution, Miss Wallace. You are next. can save her. I've learned of your ability to change yourself into Captain Marvel. Tell me the secret and Miss Wallace goes free. Well? tie his hands. Are you ready to tell me? Yeah. 
I'll not only tell you how, I'll show you how it's done. Shazam! Now, I'll give a demonstration. I'm going to show you how you've been misled by an imposter. Bentley! Justice will be done to him. He committed many crimes in his own country, and he'll be returned there for punishment. One move from any of you, and she dies. This scorpion is a symbol of power that could have helped to build a world beyond man's greatest hopes. A world of freedom, equality, and justice for all men. But in the greedy hands of men like Bentley, it would have become a symbol of death and destruction. Then until such time when there's a better understanding among men, may the fiery lava of Scorpio Burn the memory of this from their minds. What happened? Who spoke? I can explain it, Billy. As Captain Marvel, you were the protector of the Scorpion. Now that it's destroyed, your protection is no longer needed. And the power of Captain Marvel is at an end. And you, my countrymen, understand now that these people, those strangers, are our friends. And that Billy Batson has done you a great service by delivering you from the hands of a man who is not only your enemy, but the enemy of all mankind. Even though you return to your own land, you shall ever remain with us in our hearts. Gee, that means we can go home? It sure does, Whitey. And let's get started. Hey!